Hey caravanners, in our last fun filled segment we spoke about the preventative maintenance of your caravan while it's parked up in your backyard. So today I thought we'd come back out in the caravan, we'll talk about hot water as I tend to find myself in that a fair bit. So we'll run a barren through the hot water systems. It's funny when I'm inside and I say to the boss lady I'm going to go outside to turn on the hot water system in the caravan. She does have a chuckle and mumble something about turning things on is not my forte but I think she might be having a crack at my maintenance skills. So we'll move on from that anyway. Make sure when you're in the caravan, turn your water pump on. If you're not hooked onto the mains water, we want water in your, in your hot water system. So turning the water pump on in your caravan, if you've got water in your tanks, we'll make sure we've got water in your hot water system. Turn the tap on at the sink. Make sure we've got water coming out. It may spit and bubble and carry on because if it hasn't been used for a while, it's got air in it. So make sure we've got that. Once you've got the water flowing freely, turn the tap off. Find your switch for your gas hot water system. Now they do vary in a lot of caravans where they're hidden. So have a look around if you don't know where, if you haven't used, a lot of caravanners haven't used their gas on their hot water system before. So this is probably new to them. So find your gas switch, turn the gas switch on, get your hot and make sure the hot water system actually lights up. With your Suburbans, your Swift, your Atwoods, you can generally hear it, just like a big Bunsen burner. You'll hear it kick into life. With your Trumar, you have to make sure you take the plastic cover off the outside of your caravan. You'll see if you go on the offside of your caravan, little plastic cover on the wall, take the plastic cover off, light your hot water system with the cover off. It won't light with it on. Once you've done that, you've got the hot water system running. What we need to do is wait for it to get to temperature and stop. On average, 30 minutes, give or take five or 10 minutes. Um, you'll hear it cut out. That means that it's reached its temperature. What you wanna be doing then is turning your tap on, let the hot water run through. So as the hot water is coming out of your tap, it's introducing cold water to the hot water system. What should then happen is the hot water system should flare up again. Okay, the temperature has dropped, hot water system kicks into life, flares back up again. So that tells me your hot water system is working fine on gas. So once you're happy with that, turn it off, turn your hot water system off on gas, and knowing now that your hot water system is fine, so when you get to the camp spot and you need to run it on gas, you know it works. So I hope this one helps you a little bit. I'll come back with another one at a later date. Good on you, fellas.